my lovelies, I hope you're all well. So today I'm going to show you how you can use contour to reduce down the amount of space in between your cuts. So I've got an image here and if I ungroup it, you'll see that it'll ungroup into its layers. So if I just keep this layer, you'll see it's like this, not too bad if I was doing a small cut, but if I was doing quite a large cut to go on a canvas or a wall, I'm gonna waste all of this space. Now there's two ways in which I can reduce this down. I can either use the slice or I can use the contour. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna open up my contour. First things first, I'm gonna remove everything but the Christmas and I can do that by clicking on it on the actual contour canvas or if I come to my contour layers if it's a lighter grey it's showing if it's a darker grey then it's hidden and I can come in and just hide the pieces that I want to I can then duplicate this open up the contour I'm going to bring back one of the snowflakes take away the Christmas and all the little pieces I can duplicate that again open up my contour this time I can hide all contours bring back the other snowflake and then hide that leftover contour Again, I can duplicate this, open up my contour, hide all contours and bring back my bauble. And then all the little cut out triangles. And then take away that top contour. I can bring back my next layer. Again, open up the contour, take away the two snowflakes, duplicate it, contour again, hide all contours, bring back one of the snowflakes, take away that top corner and then again duplicate, contour and swap them over. Now they're not going to then keep their exact position but because I am actually reducing down the cuts it doesn't matter because we would manually be placing these anyway. Same with this one, contour, take away the snowflakes, duplicate it, hide all contours, bring one snowflake back, take away the top layer, duplicate it, take away or bring back that snowflake, take away the other and then bring that back. Now you'll see as I was saying that none of these are really in the position they should be but it doesn't matter because what we've now done is if I go to make it instead of having all of that cut space these are now going to cut all next to each other I can really reduce down the amount of wastage that I'm experiencing and then I can manually use my transfer tape to put them into place manually. If I keep it as it originally was and go to make it you'll see that it's going to cut like this and we're going to end up with all this wastage on each of our layers and it's just not worth it when we can manually place them. We can of course use a slice to do this and I will show this in another video but the contour does make it nice and quick and easy. As always if you've got any comments or questions please do put them below. Don't forget to like, subscribe, hit that notification bell and I'll see you all again very soon. Bye!